I'm going to play a number for you. I've got a three, two, one, action. an applause like that i tell you i got a big one your microphone is right up there so here comes jerome hey jerome you gotta turn it on yeah one two three oh you're talking through your thing that's why oh i could use a little more monitor here one two three well I'll keep turning you up, but you're talking through your. Oh, I forgot. Your mask, that's why. <laughs> I was being protected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had to have some protection from Robert. <laughs> I have that one set up. In case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody, it's good to see you guys Hello. again, okay? <laughs> Always good to see you guys. Um, well, um, let's kind of like get started here. Robert's going to punch up the song of the day. And you probably got this song in your Urban Burden book or, or in your book 200. At any rate, and we're probably, we're going to send it to you. We're going to uh, show it to you online anyway. So you can see it and go follow along with us today. Just to give you a little background. I already mentioned one uh, with the guy who wrote it. It's the song. That look right. Blue Skies. Blue skies. From the Broadway play uh, Betsy and Belle. Huh? And, we, and well, well, of course, we hear. It's um, um, not right. Rick Sinatra. Is that not right, Gary? Oh, huh? I can't find page 24. If you go to page 24, oh, you'll yeah. find it. It's 14, not 24. Oh, it's, it's different in your book. book. You probably what? got version uh, two. What, what book number do you have, Gary? 200. Now, what does it say on the front cover? The best songs ever, sixth edition. No, oh, I got, I think that's eight. Oh, he has an eighth edition. Oh, you're, 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 you're going to have to buy an eighth edition and a seventh edition. <laughs> I mean, it's third edition. It's like trading up organs as lecture. <laughs> uh, the good news is, how do we access the materials? I can access all the videos, but but that. You have to send me an email and ask for it if you need it. Oh really? Yeah, because we have a copy of it. I can't put it on YouTube because YouTube's a video. Oh. Huh? Now keep in mind that sometimes I do send emails out, but I don't do it for all the stores because otherwise I would spend my entire day just doing emails. That's so right. I only do them for the company wide ones. And if anybody needs a copy or something, cause they don't have the book right now, I just say email the store or email me and then I'll, we'll just give you a copy. All right. And we're getting away with that for now because these are not normal times, but at some point we're going to have to start charging for the music books and things like that. 
because otherwise we'll get in big trouble. Yeah. And as I was saying, we were posted a video of Don's uh, co uh, concert and it had blocked the entire concert that she recorded for her students because of one song. And that mm. one song was an artist that has very strict guidelines about their music being played by anyone other than them. So, you know, copyrights is a really tricky thing. So we got to be careful how we do that. So anyway, yeah. so just an FYI. But anyway, here's the song on the screen. Can you see it, Gary? Yes, I can. Can you see it? And Sharon, I'm asking those three people because those are the ones I currently see on my screen. So I'm, I'm just referring to the ones. So as long as you can all see it. And uh, he's going to give some setup tips and things like that on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to, I have the, the, our little model over here set up. So I might, yeah. while you're doing this, now you want to look at this camera or that one? It does. I can look at that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I hope you guys can read my little little notes that I put on the music. I should have I should have increased the fonts, but I can see them, and I know I'm older than most of you guys. <laughs> um, if you notice, the first thing I did is put on this for instruction use only. I'm trying to avoid the copyright laws on these. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, it doesn't help. Okay. <laughs> uh, you may ask what the difference between a foxtrot and a swing. Do I hear nobody want to ask? I bet you guys all thought they were the same. Gary, you may ask, what is the difference between a foxtrot or a swing? Good question. No, you may ask. <coughs> Where am I? Yes. You may ask, what's the difference between a foxtrot or a swing? Yes, I don't, I don't know. Ask me. Uh, what is the difference? Between a fox trot. You know, I'm glad swing. you asked, Gary. That's a oh, very good you. question. And Jerome had a feeling you were going to ask that question. So that's why he put that up here, just for you. You know, we, and see, else. we, see, <laughs> okay. that, we see that on music. Oh, there it is up there. <laughs> and, they, and they go fox trot or swing. Well, they are two different uh, rhythms. One of them is the fox trot is kind of like a bounce. Is a what? A bounce. A bounce? Like you're bouncing a basketball. A swing is when you hear the drum on the cymbal, keeping a steady beat. Every beat counts. Whereas a foxtrot, every other beat counts. Okay? Look at this. He circled it. So, Ooh. yeah, you know. Oh, awesome. Sorry, I can't hear very good. Um, Can you hear that? Can you hear that? No. Foxtrot is a bounce. Yeah. Bouncy bounce. Okay. Give me an example of that. I'll give you an example of this. If you want an example of a box chart and a bounce and a swing, go to your big band button and put on Frank in account. In this case, Frank in account on ultra style is going to give you a bounce. But if you take the ultra style off, it's going to give you a swing. Listen to the bounce first, all right? Frank in account. It's bouncing. One, two, three. Have you noticed where the strong beat comes? One and three. Now, on a swing, when we take off the altar style, the beat is, is clear, it's level. You hear the difference? All right, let's do it again one more time. Alter style is the bounce of freaking account. One, two, three, four, one. The strong beat is every other beat, but on a swing, it's every beat. Now, on uh, most of the instruments you got, 
Um, every instrument that's out there, for the most part, if you get a large instrument, if you got a small instrument, you just got one. I think you just got Frank in the cap without the swing. Well, let's, without let's the show swing. them. Okay, only. Do I think that's, so is that you, Arthur? You have an easy series product, right? Just nod your head. I can't hear you, but okay. Watch this. On an easy four, an easy one, uh, easy two, you just got the swing. You don't have the foxtrot on that rhythm. I'm going to take you on a virtual 360 tour. I can't see if I'm doing this right. You, you, oh, look at that. Good. It's very good. Oh, my goodness. All right. So here's that same one. Yeah. So which one is that? One, two, that's the fox ride. It doesn't have the swing. So that's the Frank and the Count style that so, is similar to so this Frank and the Count, but it has two different versions of the Frank and the Count. It has the swing and the fox trot. Okay, so but that's the Frank and the Count version yeah. one there. Now, sometimes when you go to another rhythm, it reverses. For instance, if you got smooth foxtrot. Oh, okay. Now I got to go back around. Smooth foxtrot. Hope you don't get dizzy. Actually, the first one is a foxtrot, and the altar style is a swing. Here it goes. Let's go with the intro this time. Ooh. And swing. See, there's the swing. See those beats? And then we're going to go back and hit the punch drops again. It's bouncing. It's bouncing. Just like you ran basketball. And if you ever played in a jazz band and uh, or combo and you tell the drummer to swing it, they know where to go to the high end and kick it. Ding, 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 ding. So I have a question, Jerome. Yeah, sure. Let me swing back around. Swing it. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so, the fox trot. Hold yeah. on. Here's the. I'm coming back over here because both of these models also have a style that sounds like this. Um, let's put on the guitar. Let's try it. Now bring the drummer in. So what does this one consider? That's more of a that's a, that's a slow fox drive. Notice that bass line, boom, <laughs> boom. On the bass line, the bass line is actually hitting every other beat. How about this? Swing. You know, the oh. bass line is on every beat. I try to stop him. Get it? <laughs> so this one here, it doesn't say it. No. So there's two different guitar styles. Um, can you see that in the screen there? Can you see the picture of the organ? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. So on here it has standards guitars, which would on on this on those the upper end models, it's under the guitarists button. There's a there's I don't know what this one is called. It's called uh, something something guitarist in there. Something guitarist. And then over here there's another guitar. So it's a guitar swing and a guitar standard. Okay. So one of them, I think this is the guitar standard. So it sounds like is every other beat the bass line. Now watch the bass line every beat. See the bass line going every beat now? So that's just swing. But what's interesting, if you listen to the two without the drummer, they're similar. Two. Watch. The guitar player is the same, but what makes the difference is the bass, bass player. player. And the drummer. Wow. Much. There's a big difference in that. I just learned something new today. In 26 years, Jerome finally taught me something. And normally when you play in any type of song uh, with the a kind of a feel of, of big, the big band area, you probably want to start off with the fox front first and then end up swinging it at the end. That's the norm. 
it's, it's been done both ways, okay? So, but it's, you know, your choice. I would always recommend that the swing come at the end. Right. Now, before you go on, this is, to me, when he, he mentioned this class today and he said that with the very top, I thought it was very clever that he put that on the top of that music. Let me, you know, he asked you that because for many years, believe it or not, this is true. Anytime I've ever saw that, I always took it at is Foxtrot being, you know, on our organs, it, there's a button that's called Foxtrot, okay? Right. And there's always a few styles under that. And it's always misunderstood. I believe the word Foxtrot on music is commonly a misunderstood word. And it re referenced the organ. When he was talking about this to me earlier, what he was going to teach today, I I actually thought this was one of the most clever things because I've always misunderstood that. See, I never thought of the Franken account as a foxtrot. No. I always thought of it as a swing because it's a big band type music. And that was my misunderstanding. So what Jerome is talking about is very clever. It, it, now, every time I go to a, a rhythm style that's a swing, foxtrot, or big band category on the instrument, First thing I'm going to listen to is that bass player, and I'm going to now think of that. So this music that we always say don't use that because, you know, that's for every organ in the world. You can use it. You can use it based on listening to a style that gives you the type of beat that you want. So, see, I, and in the 30s, see, uh, it basically was Foxtrot. During the every brilliant time, they were all Foxtrot. But along came the 40s, and those immigrant, those uh, musicians started moving in into New Orleans and Kansas City. Right. Those same songs, they swung them. They swung them, okay? There's that the right oh, uh, privilege yeah. there? They swung them. If you notice, Lawrence Well, they, uh, those good ladies out front on the first song, they are bouncing to the music. Those are basically fast rock. But when they brought that little duo dance couple on, <coughs> And they did start doing the jitter jitterbug. That was a swing, and that's how you can tell it visually. The jitterbug and the foxtrot. Think about Lawrence Well. Think about the jitterbug, the swinging guys. Okay, so that's a big difference in uh, the two. And one of them was like the '30s, and one of them with Glenn Miller, and all those guys start swinging in the in the, in the early late '40s and early '50s. Swing time. That's the difference between the two um, rhythms. Now I got a couple couple things on here. Boys, music wise on this particular song. I didn't have to do anything for chords. Nothing at all for chords. This song was made famous again in 1978. Willie Nelson wanted uh, a Grammy with this with his album in the 70s. I was just going to Europe at the time, and I remember the album because. Bummer Records had it out, and I don't think I paid for it yet. <laughs> I think I still almost got it, probably a million dollars for that one song. Okay, <laughs> hope they don't hear me. But anyway, it's going on. It's going on YouTube. So they're <laughs> they're going to find you now, for all. Oh, uh, Blue Skies is very popular song. And I just recently, Robert and I was talking too. We heard this song in the commercial. Okay, we also heard this. First, I heard it in a Star Trek movie. And then the new uh, saw, the new uh, uh, series Star, Star Trek Picard, that's the opening number for the first uh, episode. <laughs> Dana song that take it at a uh, I can't hear the thing. wedding. You can hear me? Oh, I can't know. Oh, we can't understand. Uh, <laughs> you got your hands on this. This doesn't have, this is like a 1920s sound, but that's okay. Time, time to get a new computer. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can you know, raise your hand if you can hear me. Pat, can you hear him okay? Uh, sometimes I, I, um, I, I, but I got a computer, but they don't. It doesn't have my the, the camera, but my laptop does. So You're gonna have to get some headphones. That'll help. Sure, can you hear me? Yeah. How about Stan? Stan, can you hear me? Okay, he's not. All right. So he can hear three, three, three computers with a purchase of an organ. Just, just kidding. 
All right, let me stick close to the microphone here. If you notice down on the first page at the bottom, I put FX slash fill in. Okay. If you got oh. one of the older models, or it's going to say FX. And if you got one of the uh, virtual orchestras, they start, they change the verbiage to fill in. On the easy fours and easy tens. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. If you notice, I put two different styles you can start with. Smooth fox trot. Smooth, smooth fox trot. If you start, start with the regular style first, you're going to get the fox trot. After you repeat, if you go to the bridge, which is the next page, and if you don't know what the next page sound like, I'll sing a little bit for you so you can hear where you want to swing it, where you want to swing it at, okay? You want to sing swing it at never saw the things going so right, noticing the days hurrying by. When you love and so on and so on, okay? And then when you get down to the end, you're gonna now, go back to your now can you right. demonstrate that part real quick? Yeah. Before you let's do that. Camera's on you over there. So all right. Let me just take this view off so they can see. There we go. Here's the fox trot. He said, "Here's the fox trot." And I'm gonna slow it down because. And he's gonna slow it down because. Oh, uh, a lot of versions we heard on this is very slow. This song. They can't hear you. Your microphones on. This. Hope you can hear this. A lot of versions of this song is actually very, very slow. I've heard it without width and without rhythm. So it's going to be your choice on that. to see what happens if I bring it over here. This is going to be fun. I'm going to need to borrow your music. Is that okay, Jerome? Sure. Yeah. Do I got a good spotlight on there? Okay. Go grab the music. Okay. I'm going to try to do what you did. A slow version of it, I guess. What it's tempo? About 120? I got 120. Yeah, I, I need to go slower than that. I, I might need to go slower. <laughs> 
I actually, I was really looking at the music when you noticed. What's the horn? Yeah. Yeah, that's really good there. Is that good there? That's about Star Trek data stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, you had a clarinet. Let's see if yeah. I can change it to the different rhythm styles. Okay. Can you see okay? Yeah, it's good. Are you guys can see okay in the screen there? Baby got butt. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that down an octave. You know, there's a feature here to do that. Octave. Okay, here we go. That's a perfect swing. I don't know how you got there, but you did it. That's all my big secrets. Uh, so that is actually something that everybody can do and you can experiment with. <clears throat> I went from, you went, use the Franken account or Smooth Fox right over here, right? That was a Franken account style that I opened up with, which everybody has, okay? Uh, even the easy two, easy, actually the easy one, the smaller easy series has it. Um, the easy two and what have you. And then, um, and then I switched to the guitar swing, which would be in your guitarist style. So you, there's a lot of, st point is there's a lot of styles that will work for that song that will really just change the, the personality of the song. And actually I like them both, they're just, they're different. And if you really want to have some fun with it, try all three if you have them. The smooth yes. fox track, go to the Frank in the count, and then do the guitar swing. There you go. It's all yours, Troy. Oh, you can I also had, I had my fun. You can also use San Francisco, any light swing with that that particular song for that particular song. Now that I got your attention, can I hear you? You got any questions out there? Got to be somebody with a question. Someone has. Are you going to be sending us? Is this going to be on video? It will be. Okay. okay. You're echoing. 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 Oh, because you got two things going on. Oh, no, no. That's me. That's you. Uh oh. That's me. That's okay. We, we allow students to do that when they're getting ready to buy their next door. Turn it back on again. Just see Stan's <laughs> hand raising. Stan, do you have a question? No, Sharon does. Let me lower your hand there and ask you to unmute. Go ahead, Sharon. All right, Sharon, unmute yourself. Sharon. There you go. Okay, um, you started the song with Frank and the Count. That was just a uh, recommendation. I mean, not a recommendation, but one idea. I really like using um, Smooth Foxtrot. Yeah, the one that Jerome did was Smooth Foxtrot. But I showed oh. you, I wrote it on the music. It could be either one. Now, if you're using Smooth Foxtrot in the normal preset, it's swinging first already. No, I'm sorry. It's Foxtrotting already. But Frank in the Count, 
in a regular position is swinging it first. So you would st if you use a regular count, use the altar style first to do the fox drop. Reverse it. And then like at that never saw the sun shining so bright, when you get to that part, then hit your altar style with um up and uh, take off the altar style with your regular count. It's kind of reverse on the two. I don't know why they did that, but they reversed it. So the Frank and the count is just, it starts out with a bounce right away? No, it starts out with a swing you? right away. You swing. have to hit the auto, auto style to make it bounce. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, then the other one is reverse. Smooth Foxtrot is reverse. <clears throat> it starts off with the Foxtrot first, and you swing it on the auto style. You have you got a lot of rhythms on the instrument that does that. Not only on just the big band, but some of the uh, uh, ballads they do the same thing with it. Uh, you hear the drummer and the bass playing on every beat. If, the, if that is normally the kind of the course, or if you're in church, that would be the course of the song. Everybody is moving. Okay. Very good question, uh, Sharon. Is it raining up there? No, actually, the sun came out. That's what I like it about. rained here this morning. <laughs> That's what I like about this, okay? Now, how's the uh, fire out there, uh, Karen? Uh, Carolyn? Huh? I was talking to Karen. No, the fire oh, I'm going? sorry. <laughs> she, she, she's not saying I don't hear yet, okay? That's the sun. Jerome? Yeah. No fire. Sunset. No fire. It was great. Who else is that down there? Marie, wish Paul well for us, okay? And I, Phyllis, I see your name, but you got to show your face every once in a while. <clears throat> Mavis, it's always good to see you, dear. Any other questions? Any other questions? Sharon, are you raising your hand again, or are you just kind of... No, I'm, I'm just thinking. <laughs> oh, you think vigorously with your pen in your hand. You I do. Be careful. <laughs> yes, Marie. Yeah. All right. And, and, and Karen Crawford, we have to get you another picture. You look like you're studying very hard. <laughs> That's a great photo of the black in the background there. Hi, Karen. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely I am here. studying very hard. Oh, I'm taking copious notes. That's all right. We're going to quiz you soon. Any other questions? <laughs> Jerome wants to. If there's, we want well, you to challenge him. Yeah, well, we're waiting on some questions. Somebody there should have some questions. <laughs> Marie, are you outside? That's no. That's uh. That's um. Uh, what's her name? The one that bugs you for the prestige. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's, see she's out in the sun there. She didn't put her name. She hid it from us. That's all right. No other questions. All right. I'm going to perform this live. Oh, wait. Karen. Oh, let's see Karen with her hand up. She's waving her hand and she's got a virtual hand. It must be important. Oops. I unmuted, I muted it by accident. Do it again. Go ahead. Am Karen. I talking? Yep. Okay. So suppose I wanted to add a vocals. Would I do it in the chorus? Would I do it at the beginning? And which vocal would you use? Because clarinet is kind of boring. You know, I started out this morning with the trombone on that song, but I changed my mind when I got it here. I like the trombone. I like the trombone. I like the uh, uh, vocal. I would probably do use the do's. Do, 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 oh, that would be do, awesome. Do, do. Okay, I would probably use the do's in the medley. In the left hand, if you want to use another vocal as your chord, then the ooze would work. Okay. Okay, and you just do it at the ending or in the chorus. You wouldn't do it through the whole song. I that might be too much. You never want to go too much at first. If I said never, right. well, 
I recommend that you don't go too much at first. You always want to build that song to something a little bit bigger at the end. So if you don't add the ooze at first, then add them on the second time around. Because this song, I think this song has about, with every Berlin, probably got 13 different verses. So you can fit as many times as you want to. Okay? I even heard it with a gypsy rag. If you got Gypsy mm -hmm. Rag, you know, that gives you that 20s, 30s feel anyway, and you can almost go original with that. Gypsy Rag, I think we got it on here. Let me see here. Can I find it real quick? Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, it was one of these hidden rhythms that, um, that I really, really liked when I first heard it because I went, whoa, that's so authentic. If all of them fails, just go to your song, uh, your style set up style list, but you can find it. Listen to this. I'm gonna try to my best to put this in a key that I can sing it. I should have got the microphone stand. I should have brought mine from home, but anyway, I'll do this with one finger. <coughs> play the melody, right? Yeah, I can just yeah, I can yeah. play the chorus. Yeah, I'll play the chorus. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. And tempo, I'm going to put it down just a pinch, about 120, and we're going to give us an intro here. <laughs> Give a big round of applause. What do you think of that, guys? Huh? Thank you, guys. And we see quite a few. Yeah, How many participants do we get today? Oh, look at that. Pat got a hand up in the air. Oh, great. Pat, oh, what's the question? No, she's just clapping in the air. Oh, okay, great. Hand clapping in the <laughs> ceiling. You know, guys, you still can come in the store when you want to. Uh, we got our mask on. Like, you notice I had my mask on a while ago. Actually, I uh, was out uh, before I came to class, was actually selling an instrument out there. So 
you still can come in and look at the booths. Just make sure you, we get hand sanitizer. We get all of the stuff we need to stay protected. We've been doing this, Robert and I, since uh, since we shut us down. <laughs> so don't be afraid. Just let us know when you're coming in, so we can at least uh, you know prepare. And uh, if you want to play an argument and show us something, we can wipe it down for you and make sure that um, you 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 know get through it without being worried about coming in the store. You're talking to all of us? Yeah, anytime you want to come in, just let us know you're coming in. We can't have a lot of people in the store at once, but if you want to come in with a hands-on help, just let us know I'm coming in and I want some hands-on or you show me this. That goes for you too, Sharon. Yeah, we can wipe everything down. You just, take yeah, a right. plane, just take a plane <laughs> flight over here for a day. And it'll, it'll be sure. worth it. <laughs> So, and we do have books. We actually we gonna we got we got we got books coming from another store that you guys probably want to rumble through. And we do have gloves here, by the way. Okay, I got enough gloves uh, here that if you want to rumble through the books and uh, be safe, uh, we bought the surgical gloves, so we got those here too, so you can rumble through the books. Uh, we would like to just see your face. I mean, you can still wear your mask. We can probably identify you. Uh, only problem I have with the mask is when I go to Circle K, I think they, I think they think I'm gonna rob them. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I hope I see you real soon. If you need any help in the home, you know we're available for that too. So Thank uh, you. that is definitely by appointment only. All right, just let me know. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the class today. If you, um, is it who comes on the Wednesday or Thursday class? Is there anybody that? I know Carolyn does. I know oh, Sharon, I Gary, I Stan. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing it this uh, this week, Wednesday and Thursday. So hope to see you there. And uh, I'll dream up something really good tonight. So with that said, I'm going to say farewell. See you tomorrow or see you Thursday. See you later. I blow a kiss goodbye. Sure. You have to do it too. You got to blow a kiss. Bye. Goodbye. There we Bye. go. Bye.